This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. KVUE.com reports a young pilot made an amazing emergency landing on a residential street in Conroe after the plane she was flying experienced trouble Tuesday night. Authorities said 22-year-old Sarah Chantal Rovner, who only had her pilot's license for three months, had just left the West Houston Airport and was doing night operations for the Civil Air Patrol when the small 1979 Cessna 172 lost power. Rovner was still six miles away from her destination in Conroe and called the tower to inform them of her situation. Rovner tried to glide into the airport but determined she would not make it and was forced to bring the plane down on the street. Rovner touched down on East Street at 10th Street and continued rolling west. She did have to swerve to avoid hitting a car, clipping a power line, and rip the sign off a of business, but no one was injured. The Associated Press reports Texas prison officials have suspended indefinitely the phone privileges of convicted polygamous sect leader Warren Jeffs while they investigate whether he violated rules with improper telephone calls on Christmas Day. Department of Criminal Justice spokesman Jason Clark says Jeffs is blocked from making calls through the prison phone system pending the outcome of the investigation that's likely to wind up in the next week or so. Jeffs is serving a life sentence for sexually assaulting two of his underage brides. The charges followed a raid at a ranch that's home to the followers of his fundamental Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Officials believe his Christmas Day calls were broadcast to a church audience. The Associated Press reports from New Orleans. A federal appeals court will review a judge's decision to temporarily block the state of Texas from enforcing a law requiring doctors to show sonograms to patients and describe the images before an abortion. In August, U.S. District Judge Sam Sparks in Austin ruled that several provisions of the law violated the free speech rights of abortion-performing doctors. The Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals is scheduled to hear arguments today on the state's request to lift a preliminary injunction issued by Sparks. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkySurf News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for SkySurf News.